Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Cold Steel 2. We are in the advertisement and we are right in front of the door where I believe the skilled fighters might be. And I was supposed to grind a little bit more but seeing as all the CP is full and we got plenty of healing items, we got some really decent cords like attack 3, action, and evade, Zeus and everything like that. So I thought why not give it a chance and see how it works if we get annihilated i can always have a reason uh, to grind a little bit more but uh, for hmm. now let's give it an attempt who knows it might work out and let's be honest i got enough uh Zerams that i can probably force my way through in case uh, things get a little bit hairy so uh, we'll see how it goes and i'm more curious to see who it actually is because as far as I remember, it's only been ever referred as a skilled fighter. So I'm assuming, seeing as it's probably from the Imperial Army, it's got to be someone we know from that direction. And Milliam or Lecter, that kind of stuff, or Claire. Those na are names that are popping up in my mind. But like I said, we'll have to see. E sector, central terminal room. Hmm. Oh my! This facility would be the center of Crossbell's orbital network, yes? In a way, the overall structure is far too complex for this to unambiguously be its center, but it's a good chunk. Either way, if the Imperial Army took it over, They'd have instant access to all info related to us on the net. Every Crossbell citizen's personal data, records on our financial transactions, even the layout of the whole Geofront. If we want to have any hope of a future, we can't allow that to happen. I agree. So we're gonna destroy it? Why not just destroy the facility itself, though? We could, I guess. But from what I can gather, it could still prove useful to us once the net's safely back in our hands. So basically the value of all the information in there is too great to let it be destroyed? Or do they have faith that they can keep it in their hands? So the plan is to leave the hardware itself intact, but wipe any and all personal data the army could take advantage of. And that's where that initialization unit Teal made comes in, right? Right. Roberts and Yona were the ones who actually designed it, though. They wrote the program for it from scratch, too. And that makes things easy on our end. Once we boot up the computer, it'll create a backup of everything we need before wiping it clean. Initialization unit activated. Confirming connection to Terminal Zero. The unit will commence backing up all data, initializing the system followed by performing a reboot operation. Are you certain you wish to continue? If so, please press the red button at the center of the unit to proceed. Right. Commencing all required processes. All right, let's get this done. <sighs> Nicely done, Lloyd. <laughs> it's not like I did anything special. It's funny. Ordinarily, this kind of work would take hours. But this unit will let us get in and out in ten minutes flat. Those two never cease to amaze, do they? Roberts and Yona? They certainly are impressive. In the meantime, let's secure the area... Stop where you are. Ah, it's Reen. So, we have to keep him busy until the process is complete? And Altina. I didn't sense anyone coming. Targets confirmed. I presume these must be Lloyd Banning's and Rishia Mao, respectively. 
Rishia. It's gonna be a hard time getting that stuck in my head. We'll accept whatever I end up uh, saying. <laughs> but yeah, calling her the black clad girl even though we know who she is. It's just that Lloyd doesn't know, is it? How do they know our names? Good intel. Hold on. Isn't that a Tachi? Like the one Arios uses. I'm nowhere near as proficient with one as he is, though. But we should be able to handle the two of you at least. Clown Soleus. Hey, Clemmy. The hell? A black puppet? Sorry, but we've got our orders. We can't let you finish what you came here for. <sighs> I'm afraid we can't let you stop us either. We won't let you past. Confirming activation of combat link. It looks like more Arcus units ended up leaking out than I thought. We should form one too then. Understood. Activating Arcus. There shouldn't be any need to neutralize them. Our goal is to buy enough time for the initialization process to finish running. Well, Lloyd is pretty confident uh, that he can take Green uh, down, but uh, he's our boy, so we know what he can do. Let's do this, Risha! Right. And we can't afford to give them that time, Altina. Understood. Commencing assault. I require uh, your support. And and, and right. that's the thing, isn't it? Let's get this over like with. we know Reen Prepare is a good yourself. guy in basis. And we know, well, we assume by what we've seen of Lloyd so far that he's a decent person as well. But they have different objectives to their own goals, and that is the thing that conflicts them. Oh, that's pretty kind of nice. Uh, Alright, so, do we get to see? I think Lloyd might be able to. 135. I gotta assume it's gonna be somewhere between the 200 and 400 range where its HP is. I'm hoping 200 or lower, but it's probably towards the 200, I assume. Uh, 400 range, so yeah. So how are we gonna deal with that? Because we have two uh, overdrives we can use, but we are also on a zero art right now, so as you can cast it straight away. And if we cannot survive two hits by them in the normal manner, then we're already screwed anyway. So I'm thinking of just uh, playing it safe and starting off with just uh, a standard flare bomb. And see uh, how that works on them and how much of a percentage of their bar it uh, annihilates. Very little. <laughs> My turn! Alright, so. What can we do? We can go with the immunity if we wanted to, but then we'll not have enough EP left to go all full in the attack mode. Defensive? That might be nice to have, at least. Unless we want to go full on the offensive and uh, <laughs> screw any form of defense uh, we might want or might need. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, there it is. Uh, 250. Oh, that's not too bad. That's all approximately a half, but we're also half a team, so definitely not too bad. We can work around with that. Okay, we raise his strength and all other stats. That's for five rounds. So if we attack with him, we might regain enough CP that if we then overdrive, he will be back on 200, which we can use it uh, for an overdrive. They're off balance. 
Come on, Misha! Understood! Understood. <laughs> right! Now! Overdrive! Overdrive. Alright, let's see uh, what kind of damage we can do with that. And doing the overdrive now, with I mean, doing the S-Craft now within overdrive means we don't get the punishment of the delay. Behold my dance, an illusory offering to departing souls. The Herc here is where we'll end up at the end of it. Right. Here it goes. 65,000 and it was a critical, so we have to take that in consideration as well. You're finished now. Cuz I want to see what kind of damage he does with his uh, stat increase. Cuz if we decide to use a Zeram in order to restore all the CP so he can do it again. Rising I want to do it on the character then that has the most strength to do so. Oh, so it's, 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 it's definitely uh, Lloyd with the increase. Because you have to, no, with critical, it's roughly double the damage if you're lucky. So I'm thinking he would be the one. Mm, we'll be just a little bit short of. Uh, killing him with one uh, more overdrive. Mm. Uh, I, I don't know if both of them will be capable of doing s cross against us. Well, they are capable because they have it, but if they will do it. But if they will, then we are slightly screwed as well anyway. Cause this is a nice damage, but it's just 10,000, uh, so it doesn't do anything too massive. Heals don't necessary, cause we don't lose that much. We can say that with the increase of defense with Lloyd, he has to be able to survive uh, any upcoming attacks. And then we can use the overdrive again, after both of them has done their uh, thing. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna risk it. I don't want to fall back in uh, Zeram territory straight away because if I now use his ram and then I'm gonna push a uh, load forward he will have the delay that he won't have under an override mm. so yeah I wanna see, I wanna see. <laughs> dude Bionic, at fire yeah. All right, so his defense does Prepare help there. Yourself. It would have definitely been a lot more than that. Stealth and speed. Alright, so we're hard uh, to hit if uh, we do that. Still has a lot left. Is she slowly recovering it, or are we just hitting her so little? It's it's probably the latter thing, isn't it?
So now we may need to make the decision on what we're uh, gonna do. Because I do think if we can take down Reen, at least, Altina should be doable. So maybe use one. is poisoned as well. Forming barrier. Right. Oh, a physical reflect barrier really. That means we have to get rid of that before doing anything massive, right? She still had the physical barrier? No, she did not. Ah, oh, I must have missed something. That's fine. It happens. Behold my dance. An illusory and I think it's only one round that uh, knocked down, so it's fine. At least it's not a confuse. Embraced by silver light. She still has uh, like 70, which is a lot. Resistance lower, so magic is not uh, something to be used against her too much because it doesn't do a lot. Because the thing is, I don't want to drag it out. That's the thing. Because it, okay, we know that if we use it, we'll do some 8k damage. So that means 10 rounds, which is a lot. We don't want Ultina to resurrect Reen, not possible. And we don't want to give her the possibility of using her S craft in the process. Because on hard mode, we'll definitely have trouble with that. No delay in uh, her thing, is there? Now, gotcha. Here goes. This will be after her attack, at least. <laughs> and it protects from one uh, attack. Arcus, activate. Uh, why right. not? <laughs> now she does the same thing herself. My turn. Prepare yourself. Thanks. 
My turn. All right. The thing I want to do is get him up to 200, preferably. They're off balance. Come on, Misha. We're slowly Understood. getting her down. Right. Moonlight butterflies. Activating extermination mode. Transform! Uh, please be physical. Please be physical. Extermination. Commence! It's a beautiful move, though. Yes! Right. <laughs> because she's stealth, she isn't even targeted at all. Ooh, I'm glad we uh, did uh, that. Bit lucky as well, because I think she could have done that way sooner if she really wanted to. Arcus, activate! Right! Really, you don't have to be so stealthy that you can't even hit your target anymore, really. Allow me. Maser arm, activate, go! There! My turn! You're finished now! Rising sun! Allow me! Okay, 13. That is not too bad. Come. Right. Futile. Oh, this removes the barrier. Here goes. Take this! Right. Mission failed. There he goes. We but beat how? them without leaning too much in the Zerams. <laughs> I, I, I'm happy the with that. Over, but we aren't safe like I said, yet. I could have finished it quite quicker if I just abused my items, but I've been doing that uh, too much sometimes, so I can abide by this. Could have been cleaner if I rearrange my course a little bit differently because I'm while well, fighting I was thinking oh, I wish I had something that could raise our speed or something like that but yeah oh, still happy with this and that means they probably have enough time to uh, complete their uh, download and destruction I'm surprised I knew full well Risha would pose a threat I wasn't expecting half as much from a simple detective. You could say it runs in the family. I'm just as impressed by how proficient you are with that blade, given your age. I've still got a long way to go, honestly. I won't be worthy of being called a divine blade anytime soon. Reen, time is running short. I think it's time you stopped holding back. <sighs> I suppose you're right. What? <sighs> be careful! What's he doing? Such negative energy. <laughs> They're done. It took too long. Initialization process completed. Rebooting all systems in an initialized state. We did it! <sighs> what a relief. What should we do? Captain Lecter gave us two orders. One was to prevent the initialization. The other was only to be completed in the event we couldn't. We'll just do that one. Captain Lecter? It couldn't be the same Lecter from the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division, right? Oh, uh, it's the same one. Heed my call! call. Valamar, the Ashen, the Ashen Knight! Knight.
Holy. An ion? No, it isn't. This is a bit overkill, isn't it? Is he gonna destroy the entire thing? He is, isn't he? Lloyd! If we can at least get the data out of here. We'll split our losses this time. Arrest warrants haven't been issued for either of you yet. So go. Damn it. Just tell me one thing, as I'm sure you already know. My name is Lloyd Bannings, and I'm a police detective with the Crossbell State Police Department. What's your name? I'm with Thor's Military Academy, Class 6. No. I'm a provisional military officer with the Crossbell government, Reen Schwarzer. Ah, so technically he falls under a different division now. So, what happened with the rest of Class 7? Yes, this is Schwarzer speaking. Hey, good job on the mission. Nothing good about it, I'm afraid. I couldn't prevent them from erasing all the data. Eh, it's not the end of the world. They've still got plenty of other options. They're not the type to give up easily, but it'll set them back in the meantime. Is that so, Captain? You must know them fairly well. I guess you could say that. They're no pushovers. They've had the odds stacked against them in more ways than I can count. They've come out the other side every time. I'm so sorry I couldn't do anything. I had a feeling something was going to happen. But I was powerless when it really did. Don't feel bad. There was no way we could have seen that coming. Especially that night. It was kind of like an ion, but at the same time it wasn't. Or like the Archaisms for that matter. He called it the Ashen Knight, didn't he? He did. Its power was out of this world. Do you think that was one of the Imperial Army's new weapons too? I don't think so. I mean, yeah, it shares some similarities with their soldats. I don't know. Feels like there's more to it than that. So basically this is their first introduction to the entirety of uh, knights. Hmm, I do wonder what their ions uh, are all about, but uh, we'll learn that when we play the other games, I'm sure. And its pilot was anything but normal. Well, let's put it out of our minds for now. We stopped that data from falling into the army's hands. It wasn't our smoothest operation, but I'd still call it a success. Yeah, and you can thank uh, Reen for that as well, because if he was a little bit more assertive, he could have just uh, kept you under arrest without anybody knowing, like outside of the Iron Blood, for, for, for instance. But that's not Reen, that's not the way he does things. I'm sure Tio, Yona, and Roberts can make do even without those terminals. We can always count on Ellie, Randy, Noel, the Chief, and Dudley, too. Even Kia, Arios, Wazi, and Zite will help us. There are still many barriers left between us and our goals. But we can get over them. So long as we're together. Right. Now he definitely has the optimism uh, of a main character. <laughs> That's the plan. I've played my part. I'll return with Valimar and the train this afternoon. Well, if that's what you want to do. I was just wondering if you wanted to go back on the Eisengraft together instead. You two haven't spoken since, right? Excuse me. This is where we part ways, then. I look forward to any collaborative efforts we may have in the future. Yeah. And I think he was talking about Osborne, that you haven't talked since that time. It has to be. It would also explain uh, Reen's reaction by instantly hanging up. Oh, right. Do you have anything you want me to pass on to Milliam? 
Not especially. We may technically be sisters, but I am simply a tool. I feel no particular familial bond with her. I imagine that deep down, she feels the same way. Yeah, but... no. Forget it. Take care, okay? I don't doubt you're going to be sent on plenty of dangerous missions in the days to come. Uh, understood? <sighs> that is Reen. He does care about her as a person and that might be a bit new to her, considering uh, what she is. I like that. There's still Reen in there. <laughs> I think he's just going through a lot now with all the information that came out about Osborne's father, Crow dying and all that kind of stuff and things that we don't know about at the moment. Like, what's the fate with Class 7? Is something wrong? Not really. I'm just kind of jealous of them, I guess. Divertisement, the occupation, and nah, that wasn't too bad. All right, let's uh, continue for a little bit longer. So where does it continue from here? Imperial Army Base Twin Dragon Bridge. Uh, we're on the train for Reen that's going back. He's going back to Thor, isn't it? Railway Military Police, high speed train, the Crusader. Beautiful looking train. Familiar grounds. Trista, Keldic, Hamdal. Yeah. This is where we want to be. At least right now. So we can learn where everybody stands and how it's going. Sorry about that, Valimar. Can't imagine it was a very pleasant trip for you, all bound up like that. It, it did, did not present, present the problem. I will now have to rent an active stick and allow the camps to perform maintenance. Thanks. Well then, I'll leave him with you. Sure thing. We'll take good care of him. By the way, it's a real honor to be entrusted with the famous Ashen Knight. <laughs> Yeah, people see him as a war hero, Welcome right? Welcome back, Reen. You must be exhausted. The one that uh, ended the civil war. Not really. I barely did anything. Everything went off without a hitch, mostly thanks to Valimar's power. Not to mention the planning of your people. Ooh. There's a lot uh, going on there in that uh, expression, in the way he said it. <sighs> You're annoyed, I take it. Well, it feels like an understatement. By the way we do things. Not really. Regardless of the means, the war coming to a swift end was a good thing for everyone. As for what happened to Crossbell, I'm not in any position to talk. And let's be honest, if the Imperial didn't take Crossbell, Calvert would make a uh, go for it, 100%. No, those aren't what bother me. I can buy that you had no idea Rufus was an Ironblood. 
But did you really not know about my real father? Uh, I didn't have any hard evidence, but I did suspect that might be the case. You just seemed somehow similar. The air about you, your facial features. I was always puzzled by how fascinated he was by your class as well. That does explain a lot, does it? Same thing with certain scenes, like the one we had that we saw him drive by in the train and he was looking at Reen and I was always thinking like, why? What's the purpose then that's coming over menacingly? But he was just looking at his son. I see. Excuse me then. Reen. That wasn't the only reason I worried about you, you know. Yeah, we know. Not that I could possibly tell him that. But I'm sure she understands why he's mad. Hmm, give it time. <sighs> I'm behaving like such a child. A little bit, but something tells me you have a right to. <laughs> it's hard to believe it's been a whole month since I was here last. Guess it didn't snow after all. It's not like the excitement of that day has faded away or anything. So why? Why do I feel so cold? Huh? Hmm. Oh. We know flowers. Yeah. Welcome back, Reen. Welcome back. <laughs> what are you doing standing there? <laughs> it's not like you to wallow in nostalgia. Did the flowers get to you? Oh yeah. Those flowers definitely got to him. You all came to see me. <laughs> they started budding just yesterday. Should be in full bloom in about a week. <laughs> guess some of them couldn't wait. I guess not. It's good to be back, you guys. Agreed. We're all so happy to see you again. You must be wiped out after all you did, though. I'm fine, actually. It really wasn't that tough. Still, did all of you really come out here just to welcome me back? Mmm... Mostly, but I um, also think they're interested in how everything went. It's not like we second years have any lessons to worry about this time of year. Besides, I already had to come out here because of Valimar, so I figured I might as well say hi to you too. Technically, the first years are supposed to be in class right now, but I turned it into a self-study period instead. And that was only possible because everyone's favorite captain told us exactly when you'd be arriving. <sighs> really now? It's nice to see you here too, Celine. Well, don't think I went out of my way to be here or anything. Oh, yes, you did. But given the way that you were acting when you left, I was a little worried about you. <laughs> ah, you're letting it slip, Celine. You do care about everyone. I mean, I wasn't. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Still, thanks, everyone. So what now? Going back to your dorm for some well-earned rest? We can carry your stuff for you if you want. No, no, I'm fine. You said that class is in session right now, right? I'm a student, so I might as well attend. I mean, I have been absent for a month now. Wow, you're no fun at all. I was hoping we could skip the whole class thing and get to the welcome back party. I like that idea. Come on, it's party time! Am I the only one who cares about studying at this school? <laughs> yes. 
I can almost guarantee that. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we can hold the party tonight instead. <laughs> In that case, we should probably head back to the academy. I know I said it before, but it's wonderful to have you back. Thanks. I'm happy to be back, Elisa. Come on, hold hands. <laughs> I know it's a big thing, but still. <laughs> Epilogue. Winter's End. I'll never forget those days. The final weeks we spent together as a class are like dazzling jewels forever etched into my memories. I cherished every last moment. I never wanted it to come to an end. But time stops for no one. The minutes and hours kept passing, and our days together were slowly coming to a close. After what happened, Balflame Palace soon returned to its original form. It was almost as if everything that took place there was some sort of dream. People's memories of that day started becoming vague. Many were convinced it was some kind of collective hallucination. That may have been in part a result of the chaotic days that followed, brought about by the Chancellor and Rufus. After the war, the entire country feared that Calvert would invade Crossbell and try to take it for its own. Using that to his advantage, Rufus quickly convinced the nobility to support him, pledged to cooperate with the Chancellor. And in January 1205, the combined forces of both Imperial and Provincial armies invaded Crossfell. Crossfell no longer possessed the weapon of mass destruction that had annihilated Gorelia Fortress. Thanks to that, the city was occupied in a mere day, with no bloodshed. Calvert was quick to react, sending countless airships to try and drive the Imperial forces out. However, between Rufus's leadership and the combined might of the tanks and soldats under his command, they were quickly repelled. As for me, Chancellor Osborne's words became the reality. Valimar and I were heralded as those responsible for Heimdall's liberation. And as the purported hero to the nation, I'd received and accepted a request in February to back up our forces in Crossbell. It was there that I found myself suddenly leading numerous soldats and fighting off the Republican army. Before I knew it, everyone around me was referring to me as the Ashen Chevalier. Yeah, that's basically what we saw earlier as well. Time Wait. kept flowing, and yes. mid-March came. The month in which Class 7 would finally say their goodbyes. <sighs> yeah. And that brings our history review right up to the dawn of the modern era. Hmm. Uh, I will never look at him the same way. <laughs> Next week, We'll be covering the 50-year period from the Orbal Revolution up to the present day. We're blowing through this material a lot more quickly than I would otherwise. So try to keep up with your reading. Oh, and Emma and Machias, if you see anyone struggling, try to help them out, okay? I fully intend to. Leave it to us. I've got plenty of good reference books on the subject. That would be very helpful, actually. Sounds like a pain. Oh well. I do happen to have a few gaps in my knowledge of the revolution. I should be able to help out with the technological side of things if you guys need it. <laughs> this feels so weird that after everything that happened, they're back in class. Even though that's what they wanted, that's what they were fighting for. Still feels weird though. I'm guessing we're gonna run into that Schmidt guy's name a lot too. Well, he was one of the three leading disciples of Professor Epstein, so yeah. 
It'll feel strange seeing his name in textbooks, knowing how he is in real life. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of amazing to think we were able to meet him now. Third period, mathematics. All right, like I said, I'll be giving a quiz next week on everything we've covered up to now, which means it'll cover quadratic functions, factorizations, sets, logic, and probability. Oh, and if I'm feeling really mean, there might be a little calculus in there. So, uh, study for this one. Why do I feel like he's gonna be mean? That's a lot. I'm getting depressed just thinking about it. Sounds more like he's reciting some kind of curse. It is all material we've covered in class before, you know. <laughs> It'll be worth going over the most basic formulas at the very least. Fourth period. Politics and ethics. That sums up this lecture on the structure of the stock market in Arabonia. Next week, we will hurry on and study unemployment and inflation problems. You're also going to be taking part in a debate on those issues. So make sure each of you are well prepared. What kind of debate? <laughs> a debate. A debate. It's when people are divided into groups for and against something, then they argue their viewpoints. Fifth period, arts and music. After much consideration, I've decided we will use our remaining time to listen to and enjoy music from all manner of genres. From famous classics to popular modern music, I've gathered records of all kinds for you to enjoy. I even managed to borrow music from a hot new genre like heaving metal, I believe it's called. <laughs> oh, I wonder what that sounds uh, like. Heaving metal, yeah. We, we know what it is, heavy metal, of course, of course. <laughs> Nice work, guys. Homeroom. You poor kids must be exhausted. Feels like all your other instructors are dead set on cramming your brains with as much material as humanly possible. I want to crawl into a hole and die. <laughs> you said it. Still, this is exactly how we wanted it. Right. They're doing it for our sake, so I don't mind it so much. There's no way we could cover everything in class, so it's sweet of them to give us the bullet points while they still can. It's paying off for us in the long run, yeah, so we owe them a lot. Forcing you to try and keep up with us is a little unfair of us, though. Yeah! You're gonna have to do all of this again next year! Are you sure you're fine with this arrangement? Of course. This is to my benefit, too. What arrangement? If I get all of this crammed into my head now, maybe I can even come out on top on next year's midterms. Is he gonna skip a year? Well... That's some confidence. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you actually did it, though. He did come in seventh in the midterms this year, remember? <laughs> I'm probably just being too optimistic. Nah. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Guess we'll know for sure next year. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow's the day you've all been waiting for. Your next free day. I know you've got enough schoolwork to choke a horse, but try to carve out a little time for your clubs and all that youthful jazz. The forecast for tomorrow is clear blue skies. Might be the perfect chance to sneak off and get into some ooh la la with that special someone. Hey, if we're able, we're probably gonna do that. Um. And truly, you teach us all by living your life as a shining counterexample. <laughs> Spoken like a true lifetime member of the Lonely Hearts Club, instructor. Have you know that there are plenty of guys who would do anything for a private lesson with yours truly but if that many men are interested in you how can you spend so much time drinking alone in your room i think the polite thing to do here is just smile and nod 
It is, Gaius. It, it truly is. If you keep setting your sights on guys like Laura's dad, you might as well just buy a couple cats and get it over with. Damn, cost seven is brutal today. Uh, it does seem like she's fighting an uphill battle to find a good match. Ah, just you wait, guys. In two weeks, when you see the hordes of chiseled, elegant gents draped over me, we'll see who has the last laugh. <laughs> One last free day. <laughs> Time really does fly. It's hard to believe our last free day is tomorrow. Yeah, it felt like you still had more time. <laughs> For me, it feels like it's been ages since I last had one. I suppose it would. Were you able to rest up at all while you were away? Not really. It was basically work, work, work the whole time. I did get taken into Crossbell City during what time off I did have. But I can't say I felt very comfortable there. I'm sure. Indeed. That must have been more painful than anything. To the people of Crossbell, we Erebonians are aggressors. I can hardly imagine they would welcome us with open arms. That doesn't sound like it'd stop Lecter from living it up over there, though. <laughs> he did take me to a casino once, actually. He won so much, he might as well have been cheating. Knowing Lecter, he probably was. <laughs> Shocking. It always feels like people who like gambling really like it, huh? Yeah, I knew they were referring to Crow. So, does anyone have anything planned for our free day? Remember, it's the very last one, so make it count. We wouldn't want to end the day with any regrets. True enough. Although... I wonder if I'd end the day regretting that it has to end in the first place if we made it too much fun. I've got so much that I want to do, I'm not sure where to start. I know I want to attend practice, at least. Oh, same. I've got to go taste test some new dishes for the cooking club, plus Crucius has a new menu up, and... How many stomachs do you have? <laughs> at least three. Will you be helping the student council tomorrow, Reen? He probably will. That's the plan. It sounds like Toa will finish handing all her work over to the others today, but they're bound to be busy. So, I thought it'd be nice to take some of it off their hands, whether they like it or not. Ah, Reen, ever the reliable gopher. Hey, it's the faith of every main character in an RPG, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very you response. If there's anything we can help with, let us know, okay? Uh, would be nice as a uh, way of uh, getting closure. Well, I guess I'd better get going. I could go straight to the student council room, but it's my first time back in over a month, so it would be nice to take a walk. Maybe I should go and see how Valimar's doing too. Reen? Hmm? What's up? Nothing, really. <laughs> I just wanted to spend a little more time with you. Well, I'd love that too, but are you sure you can afford to? I mean, you have that meeting with the lacrosse club about tomorrow, don't you? I know, but that can wait. Right now, I just want to be with you for as long as I can. Please? Oh, that's cute. I know the feeling. Oh, well, how can I say no to a cute face like yours? Nothing would make me happier. It wasn't for long, but the two of them were happy simply passing the time together. When the time came to part ways, they said their goodbyes just outside the classroom. Classes are now over for the day and you can walk around the academy grounds freely. At visiting the building accessibility accessible through the engineering building and speak to Toa in the student council room, the story will advance. Traveling clothes? You can change the character's costume by selecting the costume you want to use in the costume part of the equip section of the cam menu. If no costume has been selected, the character's outfit will change automatically over the course of the story. We know. <laughs> or is this actually the first time that we got in Cold Steel 2 another costume? 
that's fine. Uh, does it mean that it's basically our outfit of the game we had? Yeah, it is. And of course, our DLC costume. Yeah, we'll just keep it uh, standard for now. So we can uh, keep playing the game as it's supposed to be. Alright, but... For now, I will leave it here. Next time, we're gonna walk around the entire grounds that we are capable of, talk to everyone, see if there are any little side quests we can pick up and help people with before seeing Toa to advance the story. And yes, this is the epilogue, so we're gonna just enjoy taking everything in before we say goodbye to uh, Cold Steel 2 in the end. And who knows, maybe there will be a little extra dungeon at the end that we need to do. Because there's still one place that I want to inspect. And that's of course the old uh, school bin the building. Mm. And see how it ended up. What, it, uh, what is there right now. Or if it's just an old building right now. But we'll have to see about that in the next episode. Uh, for now, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe. And be back next time. As we go around uh, campus talking to everyone. See you then. Bye bye.